So what are the basic principles of management of any baby with respiratory distress? We have some obstetric practices, mainly use of antenatal steroids and delayed cord clamping. Close attention to temperature care in the delivery room and in the NICU are critical because hypothermic baby, the surfactant function is poor and the baby deteriorates quicker. The blood pressure management is more difficult. Actually, the hypothermia contributes a lot to the increased mortality in the very small babies. So close attention as advised by the MRP, NRP is very important. Supportive management includes monitoring of the vital signs and closely uh, actioning according to the requirements. Heart rate, respiratory rate, blood pressure, oxygen saturation should all be monitored. The hydration and nutrition are important. The longer the baby stays sick, the more important TPN becomes because if you're not providing protein and appropriate level of calories to spare the proteins, we will be in a catabolic state and the baby's defense mechanisms will not work appropriately. We should also initiate trophic feeds with express breast milk as soon as we can. Securing an appropriate access is very important because these are sick babies. We may be finding it difficult to get the appropriate access. So central line insertion is important. We may need umbilical venous catheter or arterial catheter help with monitoring as well. We may have central percutaneous inserted central catheters as well. And uh, some of the milder babies you'll be managing with the cannula as the situation demands. In terms of managing the respiratory distress, it depends on the condition and we will be discussing it as we go on. 